What's going on, Facebook? What's up, YouTube's Twitter, VolunteerRoadShow.com, and where else, Billy? <laughs> I think there's everybody. Man. And the Volunteer Roadshow Studios, because we got an audience. We got Isaac over here, who thinks he can beat me in pig. What's our record, Isaac, on pig? I, th I think I got you by a couple games, don't I? Nah. Now, Isaac, he can shoot lights out. Lights out. Well... Billy, we're going to help everybody make some rent money. But before that, we got to make some rent money by mentioning Blue Water Climate Control. Jeremy, over there, veteran-owned, he said they were busy. We were supposed to do a show this past Monday, and he said that cold snap had them but busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. <laughs> well, I'm feeling good about my, my streak. I, I, I've, been, I've been making money. I, I've been making a little money on the side. I haven't been telling you. But I've been betting them turkey league stuff. They have turkey basketball over in turkey basketball. I've been mm -hmm. betting on the Euro League. I've been taking the favorite on all of them. Just going through there, click the favorite all the way down, and I make money on it. Well, I'm glad you're doing it that way because you're not helping nobody make rent money if you do it that way. So it don't count. Well, I just helped them. I just said go on bet now. Go to volunteerroadshow.com. Scroll down to the bottom. Click on the bet now icon. Put some money in there. Helps us out, helps you out because you're going to follow my advice and you're going to get rich. I'm going to be rich. I didn't even show you my, my, my picks, my, my pending picks for tonight and tomorrow. All right. Put some money in there. It's going to blow your mind, Billy. Turn your volume down. It's going to blow your mind. When you see my picks, I don't even know if I want to show them to you because then you'll, you'll play them and then you'll take all the credit. Well, you already know how I'm going to play them anyway. You know, if you play something, I'm going to play the opposite. You know, and I went against myself yesterday with that situation, and I didn't do what I was supposed to do. You should have gone the opposite, and you'd have won some exactly. money. Exactly. I'd have been rich. You talked me into that, baby. No, no. You no, talked no. me into it. You made me think, hey, this is the best way to go. But, hey. Well, I thought it was. I learned, I learned my lesson when I said, you know what, I'm going to give him a chance one time. I'm going to see what happens if I go with what he says. And guess what happened, guys? Mm, mm, mm. The cat got skint. Yeah, but that was only on one pick. Look at the other picks that, I've, that mm -hmm. I've been making money on. Well, I wish you would give me some winning picks, so I'm not going to listen to you ever again. Why not? Because I mean, if I listen to you, I, I'll never make anything. I'd be looking like 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 uh, what's the kid, the guy that um, <laughs> the NBA player that that had been trying to get off the streets. Oh yeah, they found him pan paddling up there in was Ohio. Was it Delonte West? Yeah, yeah. Somebody said that was a conspiracy. That was like a setup just to get on the news. Hey, well, I hope they got him some help, man, because it did look pretty sad. It was, you know, it, it looked bad, man, when I saw him like that, you know. I don't want anybody to, to get that bad. Well, you know what's more exciting about making rent money? It's Florida week. I already see our our, 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 our favorite Florida fan over here flapping his gums in YouTubes, <laughs> crying Ryan. You notice he ain't coming down here to the tap house tomorrow. Well, you know he's not. Is he in town? No. Well, see, I, I bet he is. He okay. just don't want to tell me because he's scared to show up. Do you think we should let him call in? Hey, we can always say, yeah, I don't mind. Let I him need call to think in. about that. If you that. want to call in, let him call in. And I need to think about that. Uh, he says it's it's Florida week, baby. Yeah, it's Florida week. Who we got over there on on Facebook? Let's go see here. Let's see. We got Jaden Brinkley. He got some, what was it? I guess there was a gator signs there. He got four gators in there. Amy Jo McLagnan. And she said, happy Friday, ball friends. Still planning on sending you the best cookies from Ohio ever, if you remember the conversation from last week. <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> I remember, too, because I remember I said a word that somebody thought was really funny. Oh. What was it, Juicy? <laughs> Something like that. I, I don't remember that part about it. Ryan, I'm thinking about letting you call in, but I'm going to help. Do you want to help us make people rent money? I might just, if you want to call my cell phones, you got my digits. I may let you help uh, us make some rent money. So call in if you want to. I, I don't, I understand if you're too scared. We got Crystal over here wrapping Christmas presents. You yes. wrapping me anything, Crystal? Y'all get me anything? Let's see. We also got, let's see. Hey, got, got my Uncle Jesse right left over. He said, hey, old man, how y'all doing? We doing great, Uncle. How you doing? Is that family? Is that your uncle? Yeah. 
Let's see. You got Keith Vaughn said, happy birthday to the best ever. Bernard King. Oh, that's right. He's huh? probably, what, 60-something, ain't he? Oh, man. Just don't seem like it's been that long. We got to, should I take it? Hey, might as well. Let's get him on see what he's talking about. I might put him on hold. All right, crying right. I'm going to give you this. Let me hold on. Let me get my flush button up here just in case you get too mouthy. There you go. All right. This one right here, Billy, if he gets too mouthy, that one. <laughs> so, y'all are only favored by 17 and a half. And it's nasty. It's cold. It's raining. And I don't think y'all got any running backs. It don't matter. Kyle Trask can spin the ball in any weather. Really? I think this yes, is where he loses the Heisman is what I think. Shit. I mean, if going for 400 yards and five touchdowns, he will, not go 400 yard, he will not go for 400 yards tomorrow. I mean, with what defense do we, you have? We got some defense. I don't know where it's <laughs> you lost at. Your best, you got no pass rusher. Your best corner's out with Schamberger. Your safeties are nothing. The only player on your defense is Henry Toe Toe, and he can't even cover Kyle Pitts. So Kyle, you got he, nothing. He, whoa, 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 whoa. Toto can cover t- Kyle Pitts. No, he can't. Toto should focus on fucking thing in Africa. Well, the first, the, the, of, the, fir- the first five yards he can cover Pitts. Right. Toto's going to be blessing the reins. Toto's going to be blessing the reins. Down in Africa, if that's all he's good at because he ain't going to be covering Kyle Pitts. That's all I can tell you. All right, you got 10 seconds to tell me what's going to happen tomorrow. Realistically, no trash I've, talking. I've, Realistically. I've told you all week what my prediction is. Florida's winning 40. No, 41 to 10. Oh, you, you backed much. it back down. See, it was 41. No, it's been, it's been 41. No, it hadn't because I've seen you. Do you want me to go? I'm pulling up our, no, I'm pulling up the messenger right now. In the comment section, I remember a fifty, a five in front. No, of No, it's predicted. been no, it's been forty all week. So you think we're only going to score ten points tomorrow? Is that what you're saying? Yes, you're only scoring ten points because the only player in your offense is Eric Gray, and he's really not even that good. All right. So how how much how much are we betting that that Tennessee scores more than ten? Well, that's a subjective bet. You can't bet that. No, I, I bet you we'll bet on the number. outcome of the game. Give bet me, on the outcome of the game. I'm bet on the outcome of the game. Y'all might bet on the outcome of the game. Y'all might beat us. We're in a little bit of a disarray. Might. We don't know really who's going to be playing at quarterback. So, I mean, y'all, doesn't matter paper, who plays the quarterback. They're going to oh. throw two picks anyway. Whatever. We got to help make some rent money. You going to help us with that or not? I'll make I'll make some people some rent money. Can't do much worse than cap fish on this show, so. Did you hear him? He said it can't do much worse than me. That's what he said. Does, do we need to tell him how on fire I've been the last couple of weeks? I guess. I mean, who's that Russian team I put five dollars on and won? Regina yeah, because you can't win the American teams. You can't win the American teams. You got to go to other countries. <laughs> hey, I've been studying, Ryan. Here's how you make money: you go to that Euro League and the Turkey League, both them leagues. I haven't played in the China League. I won money on the China game. Mm-hmm. You just go down and you click the favorites on all of them, and you'll make money. Now, I only put a couple bucks on there on each game, just a couple. When I say a couple, I really mean two. And it been two dollars, mm-hmm. two dollars on each each one of them, and I've been making money. I've been making money. All right, <laughs> we got a game tonight, Ryan. You see, my, I, I'm, I'm a, I've got blue check, check marks for what I put money on. All right. Lafayette, number 25 in the country, is a three-point dog to App State, and it's going to be raining like you know what. And it's 51, 51 and a half over and under. I'm taking Lafayette and the under. Where is the uh, – where is it being played? North Carolina. Boone, North Carolina, where it's a monsoon, and it's like what? 40, Appalachian State. Well, hey, you know, since you're taking Lafayette, Bobby – Catfish. You've already you know. said you that, that Lafayette was the better play. I didn't hey, I said that off the air. Yeah. But when it's time to make the people rent money. So in which way are you taking? You gotta take Appalachian State. You gotta take the home team being a sloppy game of sh- of, of slowing down the Lafayette team that just put up almost seventy points. I'm gonna take Appalachian State. 
by a touchdown and a low scoring game. Wow. So I'm going to take the three points to cover. What's Ryan? Which one are you taking? I, three points. I, tend, I tend to agree. I'm going to take Appalachian State with the three, and I'm also going to take the under because they're not going to be able to throw the ball like Lafayette was when they put up 70, man. So, so you're going to give up three points. Give up three points and take the under. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm writing this down. <laughs> Hold on. So I'm going to put an R next to Crying Ryan for stand for Crying Ryan. And you're going to take the under with me. And, Billy, what are you taking, the under or over? I take the under with that. I think it's going to be a sloppy okay. game, and it's going to come down to a low-scoring game, I think. All right, I, I think we need to pick out two games. Here's the list. You all see it here on, on the screen. I'm going to bring this over here. All right, you all see my, my blue check marks right there. That's where I, I already bet over here on the right. You can see I put – I'm a high rolling on these games. I put $4 on Lafayette – and the three points, getting a three, and I put five dollars and twenty-five cent on the under because I'm a little bit more sure on the under, and that covered my parlay because I parlayed that. And you parlayed it too, okay? Yep. That means you're very confident. Yep. All right. Let's let's go through here. Just let me know, and I'll give you the right pick, Bobby. Just All let right, me you know. see the picks here. I see him. I see him. which which. Which game? Are you going to let me pick my game first? I'm, a, I'm just going to play the opposite of you. Unless I just know it's just something I've told you already. All right. I saw a game down here that's uh, it's it's a lot. Where would it go? It's probably so much of a lot they took it off the board. Where would it go? Oh, there it is. Indiana, Wisconsin. Listen to this. Yeah, I'm taking – I'm getting 14 and a half. It's already down to 13. A point and a half in 24 hours. Indiana's getting 14 and a half. That's what we're calling it all. Right. That is my pick. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, it's 13 right now, so we got to go with the line we have I didn't right make it now. A line. It's 13 points right now. What's the weather going to be like? Um, it's going to be cold. I don't think it's going to be that nasty. It'll be cold. So I'm, I'm going to go with. Wisconsin with the 13. I'm going to take the minus 13. I, I think that they will cover. I mean, this Indiana team has showed up these last week, and I still don't think they played anybody that's, you know, besides the game that they lost. Um, I forgot who was it they played. But I think Wisconsin will finally show up. You know, they have been favored all year long, and they haven't really been covering, so I think they're covered this weekend. Well, it's a midday game. What do you say, Ryan? Wisconsin with the minus 13 to Indiana. Yeah. Is that your pick? Uh, that's a difficult one. I mean, Wisconsin really hasn't impressed me as much as Indiana did, but also you're you're looking at a looking at a 13 point spread in a Big Ten game. I mean, there's a lot that could go on. I think I think Indiana wins, but I think Wisconsin. No, Wisconsin's favored by 13. Wisconsin's favored? Favored by 13. Indiana's a 13-point oh, okay. dog, getting 13 points. Oh, give me give me Indiana. Me too, see? See, I thought I, I thought I was a, a, a dummy when it come to betting. That's what you said. Now you're picking with me all night. All right. Y'all yes, must be listening to the dogs. What's your game? What you pick one game out of all these? Let Let's see here. Um, if you go with a lock on here that you just want to automatically win, um, let's go with one of the big spreads. Let's go with um, Clemson minus twenty one and a half. Yeah, I think V Tech probably stay within that number, but I think Clemson will smash them. But I'm gonna take. Let's go with Notre Dame, Dame with Ohio the State. minus thirty three and a half. <laughs> Billy, that was my game. Hold on. Where'd it go? Okay, it's 33 and a half. Uh, Billy's got uh, Notre Dame, Billy, minus 33 and a half over uh, Syracuse. Who who you got? Who you got in that one, Ryan? Oh, uh, over Syracuse? Yep. What did Billy take? Because I, I haven't been paying attention to Syracuse. Billy, what'd you take? He took Notre Dame. I, I took Notre Dame with the points. 33 and a half. And 33 and a half. 
I mean, I think Notre Dame could potentially win this game by forty if they wanted to, but I'll take I'll take Notre Dame as well, just purely because uh, Syracuse only plays good against Clemson. <laughs> well, let me see. What did I take? Let me go over here. Let me look at my pending bets. That's what I want to show you guys, to show you what kind of a genius I am. <laughs> we know about that genius stuff you got, Bobby. All right. Listen to this, Ryan. Early in the week, here, here's my here's my $5 parlay. I want you to listen to this. Now, two of these games got canceled. But if they were played, I want you to, I want you to tell me what you think. $5 to win 235 a six-game parlay. I took Georgia giving up 35. I took South Carolina getting 12. I took uh, the over in the Liberty Coastal Carolina game that got canceled of 57 points. I took Purdue giving up two, and I got Indiana getting 14 and a half, and I took the over in the Texas A&M-Auburn game over 49 points. That was a lot. I like like all those picks except for the South Carolina and 11. I think Kentucky could run rampant and win that game. By about twenty one. Okay. I really don't have much faith in South Carolina. All right. Here's another parlay I did. One get two game got canceled. It's down to a three game parlay. I had the, the basically everything the same. I had the Georgia giving up thirty five. I took the over in the Coastal Carolina Liberty game. It got canceled, and I took Clemson minus twenty two, and I took Ohio State minus twenty three and a half, and I took I can't tell you on the air who I took on the game five. <laughs> All right, but I took Florida but, minus seventeen. I'll go ahead and tell you. I mean, that's an obvious pick right there. Really, I'm surprised you're not looking. I don't know if y'all know this. BYU at Coastal Carolina is a game that is being played. I got money on that game. Billy, you looking at that? I know Coastal Carolina is your team. So are you taking BYU? I mean, what's the spread on that now? Ten. Ten? So Coastal's getting ten, and I put five dollars on them. I took Coastal. Coastal's ten. getting ten. Ten points. Ten point dog. I think it's at home. God, that quarterback from BYU, though, he's electric. I think I want to stick with uh, Coastal in the ten. <laughs> What's the over under on that? I would say it was somewhere be anywhere from probably 50, 53, 54. I'm looking. Hold on. I don't even know. Is it? Well, it's got to be on the board because I put money on it. Where'd it go? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't doubt if it was 60 because, I mean, that's, that's a lot of points. Uh, right the over-under is 61 and Ooh, a half. 61, that's a lot Ooh. of points. <laughs> that is a lot of points. It sounds like the offenses are going to be hot. I'm taking this Coast, like Coast of, of Carolina. I'm going to Coast of money line. That's a plus 305 on that money line. Yes. You're taking Coast on the money line? Oh, yeah. That's a three to one odds right there. Hey, you know who struggled with BYU last year? Who got beat by BYU that shouldn't have got beat? <laughs> I forget. And you're talking about Coast of Carolina. Coast, Coast are at home, too, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. I think that's yeah, that would be a pretty good game. I think it's going to be the game to watch. Let everybody know they're, 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 they're for real this year. Shane wants me to pick UGA to cover. I did, but the game got canceled. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that would have been a blowout, too. Now, I don't know about the 35 and a half. I think they probably would have won like 35-0. Well, see, Couch Coach told me, he said he could see Georgia getting up by four touchdowns in the third quarter. And then and just, just cruise coast, control. Cruise control and not cover. Yeah, punting on third down. And then I, But I'd already placed my bets when he told mm-hmm. me that. You can't play those big games like that, Bobby. All right, what games did you like? You said you like Notre Dame, Syracuse. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably play. I'm gonna probably play the Oklahoma, Ohio State, and Wisconsin on a three-team parlay. Hold on, where where's those games at? 
Oklahoma is a late game, so it's going to be. I think they're playing. Oh, I got. I got a game. I got a game. Where is it? Did they cancel my play? No, I think they're playing Baylor they're right Baylor. there. Oh my God, yes. They're, they're, Oklahoma's favored over Baylor, 21 and a half. That half point hook might get you. It won't matter. It'd be 35. 62 point yes, over under. It's going to be a, sh- uh, I would say shootout, but Baylor, they are, ugh. They're not the same Baylor team since all the allegations have been going on. All right, we're going to write this down. I got a game. What's your game, Ryan? Uh, I'm looking at the Oregon Cal game. You got number 23 ranked Oregon going against an 0 and 3 Cal, and Oregon is only favored by nine points. So you think you think that's a game to play? I think you take Oregon and and just ride it. I think they win by more than nine. All right, I'm with you there too. What do you think? Um, looking at that nine points, I see. I'm going to take Cal right there. Cal at home. I think the track stars keep up with Oregon. Well, I'm just looking. I'm looking purely at the stats that they're leading: passer, rusher, and receiver. Cal's touchdown interception ratio is five touchdowns to three interceptions. I don't know if that's going to win you versus the top twenty-five Oregon team. Their leading rusher doesn't have 200 yards and doesn't have a single rushing touchdown. We shall see. I just see. don't think we I don't sh- think their offense is potent enough. So the OU game, you took OU, Billy. Yes. I already gave you a three part what, what, three what team was parlay. The on that? If you want to win rent money. All right, there's a three game parlay. You take an OU. Who was the other game? Ohio State. OSU. Wisconsin. And Wisconsin. I normally don't take favorites, but I think that's just a no-brainer. Wow. If you had a three-game parlay, what would it be, Ryan? If I had a three-game parlay? Yeah. You got to have me searching through all the games. I think I'm definitely putting Oregon. Oregon and Melbourne, I think that's an easy win. Uh, Oregon? Oregon, yeah. All right. Um, Would you put Notre Dame on that parlay? Taking a 33 and a half on a parlay. Kind of risky. Hey, that's a tough one. But hey, a winner is a winner. Ooh, I, I think I think I might have found it possibly a better one. You're looking at a, a 7 and 0 Marshall team going against a 1 and 2 Rice team at home, being favored by 23. I like Marshall. 22 and a half. 22 and a half? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I like Marshall. All right, Marshall, what's your Straight third, up, third game? Uh, I mean, do I got to – I can take an easy win here with the uh, the Florida and just lay the points, you know? Because we're going to blow you all out, but we can make it a little more interesting. Well, we're trying to help people uh, – Win rent money here. <laughs> so, I think I think the Notre Dame game. Oregon, I mean, they're winners. Marshall. They're going against Syracuse. Syracuse is a one in nine team. They put up points. So what's your three team, my boy? I'm gonna go with Indiana, and Ryan talked me into Oregon, Mm-mm-mm. and then I then I'm gonna blow y'all's socks off. You ready? Oh. You ready? Hold on, where'd it go? Uh. I just saw it. Man, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I know what he wants to play. I I, know what he's going to play. I like that Iowa State giving up six and a half. I can see that. I can see that being that they struggled last week. I can see that. (laughs) But that's a tough one. As if West Virginia shows up and that offense shows up, that'd be a tough one. Mm. Well, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I don't think what what's the spread on the Tennessee? What I mean, what's the over under? That's a sixty two and a half. It's it's not gonna touch that. It's not gonna touch that because y'all can't score enough points. 
Yeah, but Chalco's going to score 50 on us, remember? Florida's going to put up 40-plus, but y'all ain't going to break 10, so. Yeah, Florida's going to score 50 on us. Yeah, Florida's going to score 50 on us. Yeah, Florida's going to score 50 on us. How you doing in school, Ryan? I mean, you can't I'm be doing too, great. Too good because you're getting these <laughs> gift wars with, with me at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I win them every time, though. No, you don't, man. I had some great gifts. You said Dusty Rhodes gift. I said Stone Cold Steve Austin. You ain't winning that. <laughs> well, Ryan, it's not too late to back out of your bet. Hey, didn't we say? <laughs> didn't we say? Hold on. What in our bet? Not who won or lost, but who covered. What not our? Bet? No, it was who won or lost. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you're trying to like cheese me out of the bets we make, but like. <laughs> well, make sure you guys put something on those three I told you about, and and get you some easy money. And I'm not touching y'all cards. Well, I think. I think I got the better card. I'm going to play against No, I cards. definitely got the better card. That Marshall bet, y'all are sleeping on Marshall. I'm playing against everybody's point. plays. So you're doing what you said you shouldn't do, bet on all the big games. You shouldn't. The big teams. You shouldn't, but you guess what I do? how many points you're giving up on all three of those games? Oh, yeah. Wow. And none of those teams have been consistent all season. And that's what I like. Inconsistent teams that are favored by big spreads. Well, Ryan, I'm glad you called in. Yeah, man. Thanks for the call, man. It's always good to talk to Ryan. It's always good to talk to Ryan, man. It's raining here. When's it supposed to quit raining? Has anybody Sometime later on the night, sometimes. I hope it don't freeze. You know, people still be trying to drive at night and they call it the black ice. (laughs) <laughs> All right, Ryan, which quarterback do you want us to play tomorrow, Harrison Bailey or J.G.? <laughs> it really don't matter to me, but as a Florida fan, I'd probably – I mean, we own Jared Garantano, but Harrison Bailey does have a knack for turning the ball over a lot. It really ain't proved to me that he's anything ready for an SEC experience. Right, let's I'd like this. to see you – I'd like to see you do what you did with Jared Garantano when you had, who was it? Was it do it was in, it was Worley or something where you threw him out to the wolves against Florida and he got absolutely crushed and just his entire spirit just demoralized the rest of his career. You could do that with Harrison Bailey. It'd be fantastic. All right. We're going to do over and under real quick. This is just Tennessee. Will Tennessee throw yeah. over two and a half. Or under two and a half interceptions. Throw. Two and a half? Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Tennessee easy. will throw over two and a half interceptions. All right. I'm writing this down. All right, Ryan's got over. Over or under two and a half interceptions? Under. I got under two. Under. Okay, so the see, my thought process is the – the lack of offensive line chemistry is going to force whichever quarterback you put out there to make a bad decision against a Florida secondary who hasn't been the best in coverage, but has come away with the ball based off of bad throws. All right. Does Tennessee have um, over or under the leading rusher on Tennessee's team over or under 95 yards? <laughs> Um, if you're going to go over, you got to get in the first half because Tennessee's going to be playing from behind most of these games. So I think you're going to have to go. I'm going to say under. All right, Ryan's got under. Over or under tomorrow? Um, I'm going to take – leading rusher for Tennessee. I'm going to take the over. It's the only way I think that, you know, if this is going to be a game that can – Tennessee can compete in or anything, they're going to be able to have to run the ball. I'm going with over two. All right. Man, we might be in trouble if he's agreeing with me. I don't like that. All right. 250 yards. Will our start, will our our leading passer, whoever it is, throw more? I'm going to bring it down to 200 yards. Throw more. (laughs) I was going to say 250 is easy. 
More or less <laughs> than 200 yards passing. Tennessee leading passer. One passer. One passer. Not both of them. Right. One. Now, let's go with the team. Passing yards. Tennessee. Do um, we get team, 200? The team's going to be over because Garantano is going to throw for about 150. And Bailey will come in. He'll throw for about 60, 70. So, so you got us over then. I got you over. Oh, man, this is a tough one here. If it was 250, I, I would take him uh, under. Hey, okay, see, uh, if JG plays, if he stars, if he plays the game, I'm going to say over. But if we have the backup in, I actually will say under. Actually, I want to agree with I want to agree with Billy on that one. I didn't know we were doing. I didn't know we were doing. You know, coincidence based betting. I'm going to say under. Don't cut. Don't cut a lot of. Okay. I'm going to say under because we're going to be running it down your throat. Okay. Right, that'd be nice. That'd so be less less him. interceptions. <laughs> All right. More or less than one and a half fumbles on the team. <laughs> Ryan. On Tennessee or on Florida and giving up. Fumbling. Giving up also, losing uh, losing the football on a fumble. More or less. Okay, I'll say I'll say under on that one. I'm gonna say under two. On never mind. I want to get up. <laughs> on both teams. No, Tennessee does. No, not. just they on lose Tennessee. The f- a fumble more or less than one and a half times. Under. All right. Minus seventeen and a half. Does Tennessee cover that, Ryan? Absolutely not. So you're going with Florida. Yeah, I don't see I don't see a world where Tennessee covers that. Does Tennessee cover the seventeen and a half, Philly? And I'm not to go back to my analogy. If JG plays and starts, and our offensive line do what they're supposed to, we'll cover that easily. Yeah, yeah think, but your offensive line ain't gonna do it. So. If Bailey's, I don't think we'll cover it. All right. So you're you're saying yes or no? We got to pick. No, 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 like Ryan said, no. I have to know the quarterback. I don't know the situation. I mean, Um, I I can't touch a game on a spread if I don't know who's the quarterback. All right, I'll do a conditional. H, you say, you say, uh, you take Florida. And J, you take Tennessee. Okay, that's conditional. I say, now this is being realistically, because this is we're helping people make their rent money. I don't think Tennessee covers 17 and a half. I think, That's the smart pick. I, I think my heart wants them to win so bad. You have no idea how bad. If Tennessee somehow covers, I'm calling you. And you better answer. It's not a victory, Bobby. It is a victory. It's not that's a victory. It's not a victory. It's a, be- not a, it's victory. a betting victory. See, it's that's that's a betting victory. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm tired of bandwagon of people that's talking about a loss is a win. I didn't say it was. I'm talking. This is rent money. This ain't fandom. This is rent money. <laughs> I win the bet. No, you don't. <laughs> rent money is they don't cover or they cover. That's the only time you're gonna get to win. I'm trying to help people make rent money. All right, and you bet. Well, they best to do what, do what I've been telling them to do. <laughs> Go against him. Easy. All right, you know what I think the score is going to be? I'm going to put C. Here's my score prediction. Um, 34-17. Thir- I was going to say 35-17. That's yours? 34 17. What's your score prediction? It was, was it 41 bit, Ryan? I mean, I'm speaking with 41 10. That's what it's going to be. That's the final answer. But I texted a certain Billy Ratliff earlier in the week. And Bobby, I'm just going to let you know his, his score differential based off the quarterback. He said, if Jared Garantano starts for you, Billy Ratliff said, 
Vols lose by 16. And he says if Harrison Bailey starts, Vols lose by 56. <laughs> well, he's being consistent. Just remember what I told you, Ron. <laughs> what did he ta- what did he say, Ryan? It's not even close. Just keep it to yourself and you you I want you to go in there, come next week, and you'll be like that dang on Billy Ratliff. <laughs> yep. All right. What are you cooking tonight, Billy? <laughs> I was gonna do beef stroganoff and if we forgot to go to Kroger. And get the noodles. He's still going to taste some good. And, it, it, and it's cold down here, too. Uh, I think we're going to be eating Christmas trees. <laughs> what is that on top? Is that a butterfly? <laughs> oh, a bow? That's a vol bow. That thing's huge. The closer you are to heaven. What do you want for What are you getting for Christmas, Ryan? I'm uh, not sure yet. What do you want for Christmas? Whatever I get. Um, probably just a lot of just Florida, Tennessee. Yeah, you know, Florida. Florida, Tennessee rivalry would be cool. So, like, the list of all the beatdowns we gave you in the past 15 years, that would be awesome. <clears throat> I got one more, or no, two more Florida mini helmets left. That's how fast they've been selling. Yeah. Two more. We've been selling Florida mini helmets like they were going out of style. Y'all must be pretty confident in your team. I mean, they're good. They're good. The best mini helmet you sell. I mean, what can you know? Uh, we still got a few more minutes. I'm gonna. I'm, so you said you wanted to get in the sports broadcast, and I'm gonna help you. Catfish is gonna help you, Ryan. <laughs> and the the way you get into sports broadcasting is you got to be right, like me, <laughs> like you. Yeah. The man who's still negative on his bet. No, the man that went seven and zero, actually twelve and zero, two weeks ago. You went seven and zero. No, but on my, a seven my, game no, parlay, uh, yeah. on a seven game parlay, you went seven and zero, and even five, after the payout, even after the payout of that bet, you're still negative. No, are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, are I'm you not. crazy? I would have won almost ten thousand dollars on a hundred dollar bet. No, your parlay. bet was ten dollars, not a hundred. Hmm. So you want a hundred dollars? All right, listen, Ryan. Give me the four teams that go into the playoffs. Alabama. Uh, well, coming from a Florida fan, I'm going to tell you Alabama, Florida, Clemson, Notre Dame. I think it's going to be two teams from two conferences. Or I think only two conferences are going to. My ideal situation is two conferences show up. So you I don't think Ohio they, State makes it. I don't think Florida makes it unless they beat Alabama. They have yeah, to beat Alabama I'm, in the championship game. I'm predicting Florida to beat Alabama in the championship game. That ain't happening. As a Florida fan, I can't go against my boys. I'm not like you, Bobby. <laughs> you hear him? I'm about blushing. Where's the flush? <laughs> All right, my picks, Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, and Notre Dame. Ooh, Notre Dame over Texas A&M? Yep. Okay, so you're... Texas a and going to have a loss here pretty soon. To who? Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> you got Ryan laughing at you like that, man. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you are a you like comedian. That? You are a comedian. Oh. <laughs> He's laughing, at, He's laughing, at, laughing at, at me or with me? He got, he got you me laugh. laughing at it now. Like, but hey. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I already told you my situation of these last three games with the Volunteers, man. Are we and, even and have it, three it, games? it haven't changed with me until I see a different situation with my defensive tackles. We're going to be in trouble all until the end of this season to next year till we get some recruits in and, and be able to play DT. 
we we're missing our best defensive end this weekend, so it's gonna be tough, man. All right, give me the blueprint, Ryan. Give me the blueprint how Florida, how Tennessee beats Florida. What do we got to do? <laughs> well, what you got to do? Okay, your offensive line has to play like the the 2002 Buccaneers offensive line, or like that one Chiefs offensive line that had like Willie Rolf on it and Will Shields. You know that offensive line has got to play as a cohesive unit as one of the best blocking offensive lines. It basically has to play with your talent. If your talent shows up, that would help. You have to get pressure on Kyle Trask. And you have to play immaculate coverage because he can put the balls in any place on the field to make his receiver have the best chance to catch the ball. And you got to put two people on Kyle Pitts on every play or else it's just not going to go well for you. All right, I'm going to call up. I'm, I'm calling up Pruitt tonight, and i got to give him this blueprint. All right, but the f- problem with that is your offensive line won't play like that. Your well, defensive you line me, won't get pressure. How many stars we got on that offensive line? 24 stars on the offensive line. Yeah, I've heard it all, Bobby. You know how they play? They haven't been playing very good. Uh, no. They ain't playing very good. I'm going to tell you right now. Catfish wants to see Harrison Bailey out there at quarterback starting. Why? I just think. Why, why do you? We, we got to give him a chance. To do what? To prove it. To do what? Yeah. Pro- prove what? That he can do it starting. That's not what we need to prove. We need to be proven. And what that, happens, that, that and quarter, what happens that, when he. This is. Uh, I, you know what? I am not explaining this crap no more because no one is listening until you. And people understand football and what it takes to create a football player. We don't have that over there. I we don't have KG a quarterback a coach. I, I, I agree with that. Then I, why should we put a kid in that don't know how to play quarterback? The same reason I said on, on my, my rant video everybody wants Harrison Bailey. And I, I want them to get what they asked for. It's um, Christmas time. Okay. Well. I hope they get that. They, they ain't going to get what they the want for Christmas. With, the problem with you putting in Harrison Bailey against a team like Florida is it's going to ruin his self-esteem for the rest of his career, they were just like it did Jared Garen Thomas. Didn't you say your your defense sucks? You want a new I defensive mean, coordinator? Because, yeah, I still want a new defensive coordinator, but that takes nothing away from the fact that all your quarterbacks are the same because they have the same quarterback coach. Your offensive line can't block worth anything. And your only wide receiver is some guy named Josh Palmer, who's not even top fifteen in the SEC. So. You know why do you got to bombard us with facts? This is my show, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Whatever happens, I want to have a good time. Win or lose, I would rather have a losing game tomorrow than no game at all. And I think you yeah. would feel the same way. You'd rather lose to Tennessee than have no football tomorrow at all, wouldn't you? As long as I can mute my phone, because I don't want to hear the aftermath of, of Tennessee beats Florida from you. Oh, man. I'm, I, oh, you better hope and pray. You better have your phone bill paid up. <laughs> Verizon will shut you off for having an overload of phone minutes oh. if Tennessee beats Florida tomorrow. Anyway, better luck next year, boys. All right, this is this is what I'm gonna do. Hit that button right there. Hit that one. There you go. It's always good to talk to. Oh yeah, it's always good to talk to Ryan, man. Ryan's good people. I like Ryan. He runs his mouth a little bit. (laughs) Hey, you know this thing. For 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 an 18 year old kid, he sure does bark a lot. Hey, hey, you know when you. Following teams the way he's following, man. He, he, he can talk smack, Picking man. Florida because of the colors. He told me his dad begged him to be a Tennessee fan. <laughs> that didn't work out well, then. Nope. Well, we got some good picks from him. I like talking to him. And see, don't don't lose it. Matter of fact, take a picture of it because uh, you 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 yeah, quick to. Matter of fact, just put it in in in, in the briefcase. Put I'm, put it in the briefcase. I'm, t- I'm taking a picture right Put it now. in the briefcase tonight. Before the, before we get off the air, put it in your briefcase right behind you back there. I'll do it. 
All right, we we I know how you are. I'm going to I'm going to put it right in there because I know what you do. Yeah. Well, we're going to be at Tap House tomorrow on Peter's Road. What time's what time are we going to be there? I oh, going to get there early, man. Probably be there what? Get there before the, you know, at least like the known games. Yeah. We'll try to be down there around noontime. Come out and get free sweet tea all day long and 10% of all, off all your food tomorrow. And we're going to have all our merchandise up there. You can buy Christmas presents for all your family, for all your Tennessee fam family. We'll be there. We'll be watching the game, streaming the game, having a good time. And hopefully I'll be hitting redial all night long on Ryan's phone. You good, know he's not yeah. going to answer. Good luck. <laughs> he better call in. He better not disappear. All right, y'all know what's coming next. Thanks for tuning in. Go Vols. Tennessee somehow lucks up wins this game tomorrow. I'm going to blow for Ryan's phone up. I promise you that. Let's go eat, Billy. <laughs>